Hi everyone, welcome to Melissa's Corner. I am Melissa. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And of course, everybody returning, welcome. And I so appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and today I've got a new video for you. What do you think of that? I've got a few things to share. Um, sneakers, sneakers, yes. I'm a little late to the game on the sneakers, but um, I have a new pair I want to share with you and a couple that I got just a little bit ago but um, they're still available so I thought I'd share them with you guys because if it's something that you're in the market for and looking for I'll tell you where to go and find them and what I think of them so give you a little advantage on that so let's go ahead and start with my fragrance of the day I set it all the way over there is the Valentino yellow dream it's the blinker to the born in roma but it is delicious this one i ordered uh directly from valentino but you can go ahead and i know they have it at um like ulta and some of the other stores you can go put your nose on it get a sample or i just did a blind buy and purchased this but i was quite happy with it so um if you like the valentino born in romas You'll probably like this one here. I haven't heard of anyone who does it. And you can see I've been making quite the dent in it. I don't know if you can see it so much, but um, yeah, I reach for it quite a bit. So it's a good one. This is, like I said, Valentino Yellow Dream. And then I should also probably share with you my bag of the day. I just changed bags today. And I thought, hmm, I want to go ahead while the weather's real really good and carry my Speedy 30 Louis Vuitton. Um, these are just some pearls I picked up from Amazon. Um, the stick on the front of it just to give it a little swagger. Got that, put it on there. I think it was like five, six bucks. It's not expensive to get some of that stuff off of Amazon and um, throw on your bag just to dress it up a little bit. But then um, I got some other things like... Yesterday I went to TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx had a couple of things that were really, really cute that I want to share with you, but I want to share sneakers. Sneakers. Um, you know, there's a time and a place for sneakers, but nowadays it seems like people are wearing sneakers with everything. I'm seeing them with dresses. I'm seeing them with jeans. I'm seeing them with dress pants and just as casual on up to, you know, a little bit more dressy wear. Um, they seem to be accepted and acceptable in just about every situation. Um, we were just in California um, in uh, celebrating a 100th birthday party and there was a gal there that's a family member and she was there in this gorgeous linen summer dress that was sleeveless but it was a little bit a little bit dressy but it was so so pretty and what she had on was she had um, a pair of tennis, tennis shoes, sneakers, whatever you want to call them is what she had on. And she had on golden goose, golden goose sneakers with this linen dress. And she looked so put together. It looked so cute. And of course, the golden goose sneakers, I went up and I looked at them. I'm like, oh, you, those golden goose. And she's like, yes. And I said, are they comfortable? And she said, extremely comfortable. So when we came back home, I went on a golden goose search and I never, ever, ever thought I would get a pair of golden goose. One, they're really expensive. Two, they look used and old and grungy and dirty, but they called me, they called me, the golden goose, golden goose. And so now I'm Granny Goose. Granny's got a pair of Golden Goose sneakers. Um, and I love them. Now I can see what all the rage is. And yeah, they aren't cheap. I'm going to tell you right now, they are not cheap. And if you're expecting to find a pair that's going to be cheap, cheap, they're probably going to be fake or maybe even get used or something like that. But you are going to pay a premium price for these sneakers. So I'm going to share those with you. But I also have a couple that I want to share that are more affordable if you're looking for sneakers. So let me grab what I have here for you. My The first pair, bling. You, you all know I love sparkle. I love me some bling. I love anything that shines, anything that glitters. And um, I got these 
gosh, was the end of last year or the first of this year? I'm not sure. But take a look at these puppies. These are platform sneakers, and these are by Betsy Johnson. These just say Betsy Johnson all over them, don't they? I did get my true size. I wear a size 7, and I purchased a 7, and they are so comfortable. I have worn these with um, like a long maxi dress just to kick about. They're really comfortable. I highly recommend these ones. These ones here are the Bessie Johnson. They're called the Sydney Sneaker. And um, I purchased these at DSW, and they are still available at DSW for $88.99. For the shoe here. They also have it at BetsyJohnson.com and she has um, lots of colors. These are in blue, they're in red, they're in pink, they're in green, they're in lavender, they're in rainbow. She just has two gazillions of colors of this same shoe available and on her website they're $89 but you can pick out any color. DSW just has these um, clear shiny crystals. But this is an excellent affordable sneaker just to kick about a little bit dressy if you want to stand out, especially out in the sun. It goes bling, absolutely gorgeous. So this is one sneaker. Put the other one up here so you can see Betsy Johnson, Sydney. So after the Sydney sneaker, we all know I love some Kurt Geiger. Kurt Geiger, mm, I love his handbags. I like his shoes. I like everything pretty much Kurt Geiger has. But this is Kurt Geiger white leather quilted sneaker. And look at the back of these. Kurt Geiger is known for the eagles. So we got the eagles on the back and there's some pearl and some um, studs on there. But on the eagle's head, you'll see that he um, has these little tiny seed bead pearls that are all on there and his eyes are right there in the black and then the touch of red. These also come in a black um, quilted leather, but I, I love the white and they're just, they look good with everything just, and they're comfortable. Comfort's a really big thing, especially I have bad feet. So um, it has to be something that I can walk in, that I can stand in, has some arch support and some cush. And this seems to have everything the doctor ordered for me, but these ones are available at Bloomingdale's and it's called the, Ludo, L-U-D-O sneaker, and it's Kurt Geiger. And these are 112. They are on sale right now for 112 at uh, Bloomingdale's. And they have the white and they have the black available in all sizes. So check these out. It's an alternative to some of the more expensive sneakers because sneakers out there, they, there are so many different prices on it. Um, and I, like I said, never thought I would spend the money for a golden goose pair, especially a pair that looks old. But guess what? Bada bing, bada boom, bam, 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 bam. I did. Here's my box for the golden goose, how it comes. And these ones, I'm not sure what the name is on them. They are, let's see. Yeah, can't see it. Um, I'll just show them to you, let you see them. They come in the box. When you open the box, it looks just like this. I think everybody who has watched a, a video on Golden Goose has seen this. Comes with a passport from Golden Goose. Now you can um, scan this little bar on here and it gives you information regarding the shoes, authenticity, all that information in here. Um, and how to care for your shoes, um, their shoes. Their shoes are handmade, handmade in Italy. That's another reason why they're so expensive. They come from Italy and each each pair is handmade, so that's going to add up. And then each pair comes with this little dust bag. I think it's kind of cute. I would like two dust bags, but one dust bag will work for them. And it says for dream use only, not designed for other activities. Kind of cute. And Golden Goose been established since uh, 2000. So it's been around 22 years. They're doing something right because they're still in business. And for these prices, people are buying them. So next, I'm going to show you this too because I think it's kind of funny because it's kind of an old shoe and it's supposed to have that kind of look. The paper is all crinkled up that's in here. Sorry, I'm trying not to make so much noise. They don't stuff the shoe either with any type of stuffing. So what you get is just the shoe in the box. But wait for it. Wait for it. 
I'm telling you, I was so nervous when I ordered these. It's like I spent so much money on these pairs of shoes. And I sure hope I love them. Yes, I would be able to return them, but I sure hope I love them. And guess what? I did. I do. I love them. Oops, sorry for the noise. Sorry for the noise. Let me put them both out here. These are called the Starden. Take a look at these. This shoe right here, I'll show you just one so you can kind of see what it looks like. It has the platform bottom and it's done in silver. And then you'll see the, the golden goose right there on the top. Golden goose on the back here and this little piece here is silver and it goes up. But you'll see there's some distressing in the star here. Some distressing around here. Um, the back part of the shoe has some distressing, some more marks there. And then on the toe, distressing. But look at the shoelaces. The shoelaces are so white, but they added like dirt to them. It's not dirt. It's, you know, they dyed them and colored them this way. Everything on this shoe is brand new. Um, it's just when they make the shoe, they go ahead and distress them. Then the tab of the shoe right here says, uh, the, their logo, of course, which is the Golden Goose, uh, GGDB, which stands for Golden Goose Deluxe Brand, all right there. But they are just adorable. Of course, these shoes are not meant to be laced. They're meant to be worn with this all like this and these hanging here. Um, you can lace them if you want to, but I just don't think they look like the Golden Goose is not meant to be tied in a bow. And if you tie your golden goose in a bow, I think that's just wrong. My personal opinion, but I think it's just wrong tacky. But again, my opinion, you do what you want to do. You do you. If you want to tie your golden goose in a bow, you do it. And you just stand firm with it and tie those golden goose. But I'm not. I tried them on. They are so comfortable. They have like a, it's like a, and we'll see if I can get one out because I think you all know they have this um, insole in here. Eh, it's not coming out so easy, but the insole has about an inch that's inside of it. Um, it comes up to like the insole comes up to about right here, and then it droops down kind of like a little small low high heel shoe so it gives you that arch and you drop down into the shoe and it brings you up further here so um it makes it really comfortable and it's going to give you some extra height because you're already on this wedge here and then it pops you up a little bit more so you get that you can take out the insole if you need more room if your foot's wider or um your heel you find is not comfortable sitting in that position you can take out this insole and put in your own insole or a custom orthotic insole you can put in here but i find this one just super comfy and then you'll see in here it says starden um, i did buy a 37 my true size is a 7 i ordered a 37 and it fits perfect now they don't come in half sizes so if you have a half size Foot, I'd go up to that next larger size. Um, if you go down, I think it might be a little too small for you. But I have an average width foot. Fits awesome. So again, these are my new Golden Goose sneakers. Look at those. They're so battered and lovely. I can't wait. The nice thing is when I wear my other shoes, they're so white. I don't like to get them dirty. I freak out if there's a spot on it and I come home with rubbing alcohol or a toothbrush and scrub the dirt off of them because it just, it bothers me that much. These, I can kick around in these and they get a little dirt on it. It's going to look, look like it's just part of the golden goose. That's what they're meant for. So I'm not afraid to wear these. So I think that's spectacular. And with this shoe, I don't want to wear it with a sock that's going to show. So on Amazon, I went on and I found, let me set these shoes aside. I found these socks. These socks are um, the no-show. They're gray and a six pack and they are $12.99 for this sock. And that's the brand right there. But I got to show you these because I thought they were spectacular. 
again, the gal in California, she had these, um, and they looked great. I couldn't even see she had them on until uh, we went to someone's house and she slipped them off at the door and she had these little socks. I mean, they look itty bitty, right? These look teeny tiny, but they stretch to your foot and it covers the top portion of your foot, so, you know, up through the tongue. So it's not going to rub and it's not going to slip off. The short ones always fall off of me and the heel goes up nice and high to where it's going to stay on your heel. But here's the tricky, here's the tricky, tricky that I love inside of these. I don't know if you can see it, but there's these waves and it's just in the heel of silicon, this little rubbery plasticky stuff. And it's very soft, it's very comfortable, but it goes on your heel and it sticks there. So your shoe, the, the sock when you have your shoe on, it's not going to slip down into the shoe and then you're going to be digging at it and trying to find it and pull it up. No, these are awesome. There's nothing on the bottom, just plain bada bing, bada boom. Like I thought for, for a six pack for $12.99 oh, on Amazon. Did I say Amazon? I don't know, but I'll just tell you Amazon. Um, I thought it was a really good price. So I went ahead and picked those up. And then also on Amazon, they have the Puma six pack of socks and they have these for $8 and 40 cents. And again, this is six pack. You get these different color. They had different designs, different styles in the Puma with the big Puma on the top and they had them plain and they had them in white, but I wanted the black pair. Um, it does come up just a little bit to where it is going to show in a tennis shoe just a little bit, not much. You're going to see the top of it, but I love these to kick around the house in the fall time. So I picked these up for $8 and 40 cents. I don't know if I told you that I'm just kind of losing it today, but $8 and 40 cents, a six pack of the Puma socks. So I'm set on socks for the fall. Awesome. Then yesterday, I popped into TJ Maxx. I wasn't supposed to be going into TJ Maxx. I was just running into Sally's to get hair dyed because I dyed my hair um, last night. So yeah, you can probably tell it's got a little dark, got some blonde. Um, yeah, so anyway, just freshened it up. But I ran into TJ Maxx because it was right next door. And they had some cute little things there. You know, not going to break the bank, just cute little things to um, put stuff in or when you travel. This is a little um, bag little like a cosmetic bag and it has the Eiffel Eiffel Tower on here the Grand Opera all these different cute little things and this was $6.99 at TJ Maxx and I just thought it was really cute of course it unzips just nice big lined inside but you put your makeup in put your hair stuff in you know, knickknacks, any of that kind of stuff when you're traveling or just around the house. I thought it was pretty cute. And then the very last thing, da 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 da, was also TJ Maxx. I got the small, they had it in a larger also, but this was $9.99 at TJ Maxx. And this says Italy uh, on here, and it has the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It has lips just some sparkle some glitter all around it but i thought it was kind of cute double zipper and just pops open there's pink inside a little mirror great to throw your jewelry in if you're traveling your makeup um stuff like that or just sit around the house or in your bathroom vanity and put your little loose odds and ends in but they did have one that was bigger but i went for the smaller one i just thought it was the perfect size and again this is it TJ Maxx. Yeah, they had a few cute things. If you've got one around you, you might want to go and check it out. That brings me to the end of my things I wanted to share with you guys. I was just so excited to share my sneakers with you guys. The Golden Goose. Never thought I would do that. It's like so out there for me to buy something like that because it's really like not me. And I've seen them before, but then once I saw them in person in California, it's like, I want some golden goose. I need, I need golden goose, honey. Honey, can I have some golden goose? So, honey got some golden goose. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Starting to cool off a little bit here. It has been so, 
so hot. I can't stand it. I know we've got a few more weeks of heat. I've got a few more places and destinations I need to be within the next month. So I'll keep you up to date on that. But thank you for joining me today. I hope that if you enjoy my video, that you might consider liking, subscribing, maybe leaving a comment. I'll also leave my um, email down below and the information on the sneakers where you can pick them up, which ones, where, and how much. And the TJ Maxx stuff you guys already saw, go to TJ Maxx, check it out. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.